welcome back to Cook Away Claudia. Today I'm going to show you how to make a very beautiful zebra cake that is very fun and simple to put together for any occasion. So let's get started. I'm going to start by mixing some baking powder with some flour. I'm also adding some salt. And I'm mixing everything together very well and I'm going to set this aside for later. Alright, in this bowl I have some softened butter and I'm going to loosen it a little bit with my hand mixer. Next, I'm adding some sugar. Go ahead and mix that in until it is fluffy. Just like that, okay? And then we're going to add in some eggs. Keep mixing until everything is nice and combined. So once everything is mixed in, we're going to add our flour mixture and some milk a little bit at a time, okay? So you're going to add half of your flour mixture. Give that a quick mix. Go ahead and add half of your milk and keep mixing. When you mix your butter this way, it helps get rid of the lumps. That way you don't have to over mix and end up with a tough cake. Alright, next we're going to add the rest of our flour mixture. Mix it in, add the rest of the milk and keep mixing. So when you're done mixing your butter, you're going to divide that into two. It should be about two cups of butter in each bowl. So set one part of your butter aside and the other part we're going to turn that into a chocolate butter. So I have some cocoa powder in a bowl and to that I am adding some sugar and some milk. Mix it together. Add that to the butter. And fold that in gently. Make sure you don't over mix this, okay? So once everything is mixed in, you're going to grab an 8 inch cake pan. Make sure you grease your pan and line it with parchment paper. And you're going to scoop your butter into your pan just like I'm doing. There's no perfect way to do this, just dump the butter on top of each other. So when you're done scooping your butter, you're going to bake this at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 45 to 50 minutes. And this is how pretty it looks when it comes out. Before you take this out of the pan, make sure you let it sit for about 10 minutes. Alright, it's time to cut and see how gorgeous this cake really looks. And ta-da! So, so beautiful. You guys, I'm smiling like a kid looking at this. If you have kids, make this for them. I think they're going to love it. Serve this with some milk and you're absolutely going to love it. If you want the ingredients and measurements, check out the description box. I have everything there. So I hope you guys enjoyed spending time with me today. If you ever try this recipe, don't forget to tag me and follow on Instagram. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure you do because I have a lot more delicious recipes to come. Bye!